Now, in home design, we are joined by Hamish, as we always are, and Hamish, you brought along a friend. I know I do like to bring along my friends, and today I have the fantastic head designer from Mastercraft Kitchens, Kristen Reed, and we've compiled a series of inspirational things for you to help you design your dream kitchen. Well, this is wonderful, Kristen. It is lovely to have you in the studio, because I have seen you on film before. Nice to have you here so I can actually grill you on things that we, <laughs> are, we need to go over. Um, firstly... If I want to get my kitchen designed and I come to you, what should I bring along? What's good for you? Do I come with pictures? Or what's the best thing to get the most out of my designer? Well, good morning. Thanks <laughs> for having me. Um, well, it's a good idea to know why you want a new kitchen. You can have a portfolio or a Pinterest page to share with us, but if you don't know, we can help you find out that reason why you want a new kitchen, whether it's the layout or just the look, and we can work it out together. Right, so the reason oh, my kitchen's just dumb isn't enough of a reason for you? <laughs> <laughs> not always, not always. I mean, some people just don't like um, certain aspects of the layout, or their friends got a new kitchen and they just kind of want to keep up. All your needs change, don't they? Your yeah. family grows, you've got different needs, you need to sort of change things around a bit. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so what we've got for you is a massive selection of photos we're going to run through. Yes, I love this. And uh, we're going to be kicking off, we're going to be talking about using colour in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have a look at the pictures and Kristen's going to run us through what she thinks. Okie dokie. Now this first image has colour blocking, which is really on trend. And I love the way that this softens a cool contemporary look. It makes it more fun and family friendly. That's really cool. I love that big sort of green stripe through the bottom of the bench there. This has a really cool red back panel. It's a subtle way of bringing red into the kitchen without being over the top and doing the whole kitchen red. Mm. So when I look at things like this, I wonder how easy it is to clean that red. Is it relatively easy? Yeah, a glass cleaner. I mean, okay, good. I'm just seeing a little feet print. And glass yeah. is really strong, isn't it, too? It is. I found that you can actually bang it with your feet and it doesn't break. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that is good to know. Good to know. This is just a coat of paint. So this is really easy to swap out if you do get tired of the soft blue. Oh, oh, right, so you can roll with the Pantone colours of each year. Yeah, and this is really embracing the concept of painting with light. So this is just a coloured LED light. So when that light's off, it's just a, a neutral kitchen. Wow, but when it's on, it's something quite fancy for your, uh, for your entertaining. Yeah. So what next? What have you got for us? OK, we're going to talk veneer. Now, this is something that's always sort of confounded Hamish a little bit, is how much is too much? You know, how little is too little? Hamish in the third person, which is a bit strange. OK, I Hamish, have. yes. Hey, I'm allowed a little bit. So um, <laughs> what I want Kristen to do here is we're going to look at some different kitchens with different veneer, and she's going to describe to us, you know, how to use it and how not to. OK, good. Excellent. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so this is going all in, everything veneer, making it tie in with the beams going across the ceiling. And that just it gives it a really homely feel. I really like that veneer. It's kind of very, um, it's very Scandinavian looking. Yeah, this is a nice dark, rich timber, but because there's a stain on this veneer, it's not so in your face because veneer can be quite busy. So this is really like paired back. It's quite subtle. Unlike this one, <laughs> <laughs> which is gorgeous, well, but I like how they've matched a neutral back panel just so it's not too overwhelming. So that's one of those ones where you could do too much, right? Too much, yeah. So that's so why you need your designer to, to balance to tell it you, out. Rain you Hold in. your yeah. phone on the veneer, you've got too much there. What about this yeah. one? So this is just adding just a wee bit, just to create some warmth. Otherwise, this kitchen would be very, you know, monochrome. I really like that. It's just that little touch of warmth there, isn't it? Yeah, it looks great with the copper pendant lights as well. It does. So those are some veneers, so that warmth that Timber gives you. I mean, what else have you got to inspire us? We've got bench tops. <laughs> we like bench tops. <laughs> oh, this is my favourite part of the whole thing. Cool. Chris has got some amazing pictures of bench tops okay. and different materials. Go! So stainless steel is very on trend at the moment, and this is a beauty. It's a huge bench top, and it's over three metres and no join, it's seamless because it's stainless steel. Wow, see I really love that look and my mum's got an old stainless steel bench top so I didn't think I would but then it's come back on trend now and it looks so yeah. cool and even when it's a bit scratched it looks really good. That's awesome. Here's um, mixing materials. So you've got a stainless steel bench top on the back and a concrete on the island at different thicknesses, it works really well together and they do complement each other. Stainless steel goes with everything. They look really gems. good. Um, with the with the concrete though, you've got to be careful that you don't drop your glasses on it, don't you? Very hard yeah. to oh, plastic mill. Okay, what about this one? So this is engineered stone or composite stone. Uh, just 30 mil, so it's a set standard thickness. You don't have to mitre it or do anything crazy. And it does look fantastic, especially with that water for wind on the left-hand side. It does. I really like that that's nice and thin. Oh, I like this. Yeah, What's happening here? Well, we've got lots of bench tops happening here. Stainless steel, stone and timber. That timber is essential in making that warm, like, feel warm and look great. 
And being a thicker bench top, it hides the sink. So if you're sitting at the breakfast bar, it does work as, as a bit of an upstand. Yeah. See, that's what I need. I need something that's going to hide the sink. The I didn't, treasure. I didn't factor that thing into it with all the dirty dishes that are constantly there. Hey, that great. Thank you so much for coming in, Kristen. Thank you for bringing Kristen. Of course. A mine of information. I'm going to talk to you later about that. Uh, truly inspiring. So thanks, Hamish, and to Kristen. Now, if you too are inspired, you can head to mastercraft.co.nz for more.